Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Your boy is Pilot 2K7, and we are live with PNW Parks fan today, guys. Welcome, 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 everybody. And we are going to be playing Coastal Callouts today, guys. Who's excited for some Coastal Callouts? It has been a while since we did the last Coastal Callouts um, live stream, so we are live with another one today. So, everybody, welcome 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 if you guys have no idea what coastal call out is i'll give you guys a quick um explanation of it here in a second but hello everybody looks like we got about 170 people tuned in right now welcome 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 i see parks is in the house pnw parks fan we got patrick soldier boy i saw his blake bro welcome 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 everybody so you guys are seeing a lot of stuff in the background you guys saw a lot of cool things in the beginning I'm not the one. yes you know i always want to see who's paying attention i always wear a pacific shirt depending on what we're doing not all the time but most of the time but today yes we are playing as the united states coast guard so we are rocking our orange colors if you guys want to check out the merchandise you already know acepilot2k7.com slash shop link is down below but Oh yeah, also, you know, we even got the orange gator. <laughs> Alright, but besides that though, guys, if you guys have no ideas what this is, this is Coastal Callouts. It's a callout for LSPDFR, obviously. It's made by a PNW Parks fan. He's in the live chat right now. So everybody tell him a hello. Um him and also huge thanks to Skyline GTR Freak as well for all of these awesome planes and boats and helicopters that you guys see here as well. Shout out to Skyline. But PNW Parks fan, he pretty much put this whole call out pack together as you see from the building, the hangar, the planes, everything, the actual call outs, all of the scripts, all of the plugins that are involved with everything. PNW Parks fan put it together. It is awesome. It's not released yet. But if you guys want to check it out, there's um, a beta program you could join. Oh, oh Skyline's coming? Awesome. There's a beta program you could join to get some early access to Coastal Callouts. It is linked down below. Check out parkmods.com slash donate. Join the Parks Benefactor program and you too could try out Coastal Callouts and have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and get everything started, guys. We got about 200 people tuned in. So again welcome to the stream everybody i think i'm gonna go let's go full screen let's go full screen i'm in like a windowed mode but hello everybody hello hello welcome to the stream all right so let's go ahead and get this one started guys so i'm gonna show you guys a couple different things here um let's see what should we start with you guys already know we did a tons of helicopter stuff today we're gonna be doing some we're gonna start off with some airplane uh, call outs and stuff. So this right here is a C27J, uh, very nice, newer uh, and smaller cargo aircraft that the Coast Guard is currently using for cargo, surveillance, and a lot of different other missions that the Coast Guard um, does on a day-to-day -day basis, such as the rescue one. as well. So this is a C27. I think we're gonna fly this one a little bit later today, guys. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the classic C130. Hey, Ry Wilson, welcome to the stream. Glad you're able to make it, buddy. I'm gonna start off with the classic C130 for today. Attention all units. Oh, We've we got, got a calls a coming out already. Up the southern coast. All right, so we're gonna start off with the C130. I'm gonna go ahead and actually load it up with, uh, we'll, we'll load it up with a couple different things because we're not really sure what's gonna happen, what uh, calls are gonna come in today. So let's first bring up our coastal menu and then we're gonna bring up the plane menu here and we're gonna go ahead and open the doors. So let's go ahead and do that first. All right, take a look at that guy. So we can actually open up and close the doors from the menu, which is pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually load some cargo onto the C-130 here, guys. That's gonna be pretty cool. Who's excited to load some cargo in here? Another one. Uh, yes, I do have a Snap. I don't use my Snap as much. I'm on Instagram more, but Snap and Instagram are both uh, at Ace underscore KUS. And actually, I think I have an overlay that shows it as well. Right there. 
You should be able to see it on the bottom of that overlay there. So A C E underscore K U S. Hey, Shadow Axe with the two. Thank you so so much, Shadow. Really do appreciate that. Everybody, let's give a count it up. Count it up. Count it up. Count it. Count it up. Count it up. Count it up. Count it. All right, guys. So one of the newest features with the latest update. We now have different types of cargo here. So I'm gonna pretty much show you guys everything that we have. Need some other uh, Coast Guard members in here. So we have a box of flares. We can actually like pick this stuff up too. So we got a box of flares. Uh, we can actually load this into the Another one. aircraft and we can actually drop them and drop the flares and they'll light up and you'll see the smoke and everything like that. So we could drop the flares. I don't really need it right now. Uh, I guess we'll take one with us. We could carry this. I'll sit it there for now. We also have the uh, Coast Guard. Another one. Uh, I forgot what they call it. I gotta look in the menu again. Well, let's start on the bottom. We have the life rafts on the bottom. So these open up and they deploy a life raft which which is pretty cool so if we're in a plane and a rescue calls come out or if a call is like out of helicopter range or if a helicopter can't get there fast enough we could drop a life raft and then the, the survivors could get into the life raft and then they could be safe inside of the life raft until the helicopter comes on top we have the coast guard supplies so this is like medical supplies this could be equipment it could be pumps whatever that people need in a certain situation that's what we have uh, on top there so what we're gonna do guys let's pick up our flares we are gonna go ahead and load up our c-130 here guys and we also got a clint on the facebook stream we're also live on facebook we got clint sending in 200 stars do appreciate that so so much clint let's get a shout out for clint over on the facebook stream there all right so we're gonna leave this box of flares here for now uh, what we're going to do next, let's actually go and grab a forklift real quick, guys. Because we're going to try to actually load up the um, the pallets. Because obviously I can't pick up a pallet with my hand. So <laughs> we're going to load up the pallets with the forklift here. What's going on, Chris Tolbert? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Fortnite layer? Probably not because I'm going to be heading out um, in a little while. So I'm not going to really be able to play too much today. Uh, is this a mod? Yes, this is a mod for the PC version of Grand Auto 5. It's called Coastal Callouts. All right, so life rafts. Hmm, how much stuff should we take? How much stuff should we take? Let's start off with this right here. Are we lined up? Let me line up a little bit better. Uh, if you want to check out the Facebook stream, we're live on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash acepilot2k7. Alright, I love this. This is definitely one of the coolest things ever. Let's see if I can just slide it in a little more. There we go. Alright guys, now look at this. Look how awesome this is right here. This is so cool. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and load up our C-130. I'm just going to load it up with like a couple different things because depending on what calls come in today, we don't really know what we're going to need yet, but let's just uh, sit it right there. And let's grab some life rafts as well. You guys think, should I do one in one or should I bring extra of anything? Let's take these life rafts here. I wonder if I could do this in first person without messing up. Alright, I think I'm too high. Oh. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, oh god. Alright, let me get out of first person before I kill us. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh god, oh god. Come on. There we go. Let me just drag it out a bit. <laughs> all right, now we'll pick it up all the way. This is so cool. Coming up on a hundred likes. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys are enjoying the stream right here. This is so freaking cool. 
got forklifts and everything Dispatch right now. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a traffic alert in Los Santos right, International so we'll for narcotics right in transit. Uh, should we bring anything else, guys? Um, so again, I'll just go over everything that we have. Copy dispatch. Uh, those forklift features are actually part of the fallout as well. Because if you try it like in regular GTA, the pallets just break. Um, so one box of flares is good. We have four, uh, barrels of rescue equipment, which is, should be good. And then we have two life rafts, so... You guys think, should we take anything else with us? I'm gonna start loading this on. Let me know if you guys think we should bring anything else, but I'll start loading everything. So we're gonna go into our plane menu. We're gonna go into cargo management. We already opened up the doors, so we don't have to do that again. Oh yeah, life raft barrels. That's what the orange one is called. Um, actually, no, sorry. The orange one is a Coast Guard barrels. That's what it's called. All right, so let's go ahead and start loading up the cargo, guys. So let's see. I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load. I'm gonna load the flares in first. So we got the flares there. As you see, they actually load on. Uh, let's load on the Coast Guard barrels next. All right. So Coast Guard barrels are now inside, and now let's load up the life rafts. And now the life rafts are inside. So let's see how we're looking here, guys. Daniel, I do appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. We still have plenty of space. We could bring more cargo. We have plenty of space here. Oh, it's, it wants me to load up the forklift. No, we're not going to load the forklift. <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> What's going on, Collins? Welcome. Daniel, hello. David, Lamar. Oh, you see the Jayhawk? We're not gonna be flying a Jayhawk yet. Actually, are there any Jayhawks? I only see dolphins around. One more crate of life rafts. That's what I was thinking, because we may need extra life rafts. It all depends on how long we're on the air. We can always come back and reload as well. And if we want to do it like the cheating way, we can also just spawn it into the aircraft if we need it. <laughs> Park says this is legit. This is very legit. Alright, I want to get another life raft just in case because we only have two and uh, we're not sure what's gonna happen today now the second question I have for you guys should we keep the weather nice and sunny actually let me not even ask you guys that you guys are gonna set me up to get stressed out <laughs> let's let's start off like this oh we did much better this time this is like the coolest thing ever I'm sorry like I'm here driving a forklift loading up a freaking cargo plane All right, let's sit this over here. And I think we should be good. I could bring another thing of um I could bring another um thing of the uh Coast Guard supplies, but I think 4 is okay, but I'll bring one just in case. I'll bring one just in case. We'll just load up pretty much everything. Oh, let's not hit the dolphin. We're going to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> I see thunderstorms, rainy weather. Let's start off basic. Let's start off basic. I want to show off. I want to show everything off before we start getting all crazy here. Thank you, there, Drew. I'm having an awesome day. I hope you are having one as well. Awesome day as well. I know. This is so cool. All right. This is all we're bringing. Well, uh, drop that there. Oops. USAR team search and rescue, that would be cool. Alright, so we'll, uh, we'll just leave this parked up, like, right in here for now. <laughs> I don't know how long we're going to be in the air. Alright, um, let's go ahead and head out of here. Or let's load up the last bit here. Hey, Ricky Smith with a 2. Thank you so, so much, buddy. All right, let's load up that and let's load up that. All right, so we should have a pretty full aircraft now. Let's take a look. Oh, we still have space, but yeah, we have tons of supplies for anything that may come up right now. We have our flares, we have our um, rescue equipment, we have our life rafts. So I think we're pretty much good. Count it up, Ricky, count it up, thank you again count it up, for the two. Count it, count it up, count it up, count it up, count it. All right, let's go ahead and close up these doors. 
Oh, sorry to hear that, Jason. Very, very sorry to hear that. Thank you for tuning in. Another one. Very sorry to hear that. I hope everything gets better for you there, buddy. Alright, so let's hop into DC 130. <laughs> Jada Shevers wanted a shout out. This shout out was sponsored by JT. Another one. <laughs> All right, Jaden, shout outs to you, Jaden. And GTA King, thank you for the super chat. Really do appreciate that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start up the uh, C130 here. Count it up, count it up, count it up, count it, count it up, count it up, count it up, count it up. Count it up, count it up count it. All right, so the name of the song, that song is called ATM by J. Cole. I don't, I don't need another flare box because each flare box has like 32 flares or 24 flares or something like that. Uh, if you'd like to download the Coastal Callouts mod, you would have to join the Parks Benefactor program first. You could do that by donating at the link down below, the one that says parkmods.com slash donate. Click on that page and it explains everything that you need um, on that page. So again, parkmods.com. All right, we also have these cool views from the interior. So I'm just gonna show this to you guys really quickly here. So that's the view from the door. We'll close it back up. And then we also have one more view from the inside. So we can actually go into these views while we are flying, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see, let's get a, Let's see if we get a call first. Let's let's start up a call. So I'm just gonna force call so force a call for now. We're playing on PC. So let's do this call out. All available Coast Guard units. We've got a medical emergency on a boat off the west coast. Units requesting air support. All right, so we have a unit requesting air support. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, it's telling us we have six equipment barrels, which is plenty. All right, so pretty much it's telling us to respond to the scene here. Hey, Onyx, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we're gonna have to fly out a little bit. Onyx, you just missed a pretty cool scene. We was loading up the uh, C-130 with the forklift back there. It was pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off here. Um, looks like we're gonna have to head back that way, so. Eh. I'd rather take off on the other runway, but there's like a helicopter and a couple other things in the way. So we'll just take off this way, it'll be okay. It will be okay. Alright. Let's get our takeoff clearance. Oh, you're playing with the AI script. Nice, nice, nice. It's all good, Andrew. Have a great day. I see we're up to 125 likes, so thank you guys so, so much for that. And if you guys are enjoying the stream, let's go for 200 likes, guys. Let's go for 200 likes. We're already more than halfway there, so go ahead and smash that like button, guys. Go ahead and smash it. Love the firefighter mods and the Coast Guard mods. Awesome, man. I, I'm glad you do enjoy them. What's up, Jessica? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's all up to you, Colin. You can watch on whichever platform you prefer. Alright, so we're just going to taxi back. And take off from on what runway three zero left. I'm playing on PC Connor. So this is a PC version of Grand Theft Auto 5 here. So Mike, welcome to the stream. Oh wow, very sorry to hear that Ty got bands. Very, very sorry to hear that. So we're going to approach 30 left here and get ready for takeoff, guys. Come on, guys. We need 200 likes before we get in the air. 200 likes before we get in the air. <laughs> All 
Alright, let's do this. So, basically what's going on guys, we're responding to a ship out at sea right now. Um, they pretty much need some type of medical supplies, so we're going to drop our medical supplies here and then try to help them out and see if we can save them. Alright, so let's get ready to do this guys. Three, two, one. Let's go full throttle. Take off power set. Got V1. And rotate. Alright, and we are up. Positive rate of climb. Landing gear up. And we're looking good, guys. We are looking good. <laughs> Soldier Boy got his food. <laughs> Soldier Boy's always talk about food. I don't know who talks about food more, Soldier Boy or Rai. <laughs> Alright, let's make our way to the location of the ship that we're going to be looking for. Now, what we're going to have to do is actually drop the cargo, and it has to hit the ship. Now, there's two things we could do. We could drop it next to the ship, and they could go out to get it, or we could drop it directly on the ship. So, we're going to try to drop it directly on the ship. We have a couple chances. So we should be able to do it without too much of an issue. Um, I was watching a couple of real life videos with the Coast Guard doing this in real life. And I actually saw it's pretty cool how well they do it. Like they hit their targets uh, almost like, well, they only posted videos of them hitting their targets. I don't know how many times they missed, but they, they hit their targets a lot. The smoke coming out of the plane. I'm not too sure. I did notice when I put a lot of cargo into my aircraft, I get that smoke in the middle too. But when I don't put a lot of cargo, I don't get that smoke. So I'm not too sure. You, you may see it disappear as we drop some of the cargo. That guy, I do appreciate that. <laughs> oh wait, we got eyes. Ah, it's the, it's the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, yacht. This is gonna be hard because the yacht is small, it's moving a little bit faster. So we're gonna have to try to line up a drop. What I'm gonna do is go around and try to spin around and come back on and hit it. So the yacht is a little bit harder to hit. Um, other options you may get is also the cargo, I mean, yeah, the cargo ship, the container ships. So those are a little bit easier to hit because they're much bigger. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like a pet right there waving his hands. So we're gonna try to hit, drop it. I'm gonna try to drop it like maybe on the helipad. Should be good. So let's go ahead and line up our approach. I'm gonna make a right hand turn and lose a little bit of altitude to try to line up our approach here. Hey Richard, what up? Well, to the stream. Look at the inside of the plane. All right, I got you. Let me just keep myself on my approach yeah it looks like it's going slow but when you get up to it it's kind of moving out pretty fast I didn't realize that how fast that one moves until I came up since we're coming up from the back of the, the yacht it shouldn't be too too bad but if we were like coming up from the side you'll really see how much it's moving there all right we got to get ready to stage our cargo too so let's go manage. I want to make sure we stage the right thing. So I'm going to go ahead and stage the supplies. And I'm going to try not to hit. Oh shoot, I thought I was way higher. I thought I was way higher. <laughs> so let's use autopilot this time. <laughs> Alright, let's go drop item. Alright, so we have the... We have the pilots there on the back. I'm gonna have to make another approach because I screwed that one up. But we have the pilots on the back ready to drop. How many chances do you guys think it's gonna take me? Or how many tries do you guys think it's gonna take me to um, hit the yacht here? Do you guys think I could do it in one try, two tries? All right, this should be our final turn and we should get a uh, line up here. So one try, two try, three, four, five, how long do you guys think it's gonna take? Another one. I'm like turning really hard. I probably shouldn't be turning so hard. Alright, 
We should be rolling out on it somewhat shortly. Should be right in front of us. We should still be lined up with it if I kept my bearings right. I probably didn't, but let's see. I think we're going the same way that it's going. Parks, you don't believe in me, Parks? Oh my goodness. He says it's gonna take us three drops. Come on, hop up there. All right, there it goes. All right, so we kept our bearings right. We're coming up from the rear. We should make this a little bit of an easier drop. Another one. The hard part is just lining up the final approach here. All right, this should be a direct hit. I think we got it on one. I think we got it. Damn, we dropped. Another one. Oh. Did we drop? What? I didn't drop. Wait. Oh wait, no, I did drop. I think I did drop, but I must have missed. How did it stage? Wait, let me look at my cargo real quick. What the heck? How did it split the thing back there? I don't want it to... Alright, it's staging the wrong thing. Hold up. I guess that would count as... I'm not even sure what that would count as, because I don't think we dropped anything. I think I actually put the um, Another one. I put the barrels back inside, and then when I did that, it put the flares back. <laughs> yeah, it put the flares back. I was using the rudder controls, so like the rudder controls is the same button. So I thought I put it back, but I put the flares back. Alright, we'll try again. We'll try again. I don't I don't think that should count as a mix since we didn't we didn't drop anything. I mean we didn't drop a barrel at least. So what do you guys say? Does that count as a miss? Yes or no? I don't think so. Okay, I didn't say slow down that much. Let's make sure we keep it staged this time. I right, I, I can see the flare. I appreciate you subscribing here, Ethan. What's up, Kim? What's going on, Julian? <laughs> appreciate you having faith. I think we should be able to get it this time, though. I didn't really want to come up from the front, but I don't want to take too long, so let's see if we can hit it this time. Right, we're coming up with a slight cross here, but we should be okay. This is actually the trickiest part because the boat is moving. I know it doesn't look like it is, but it's actually moving. That's what makes this a little bit tricky. I'm a little off here, actually. Oh, uh, we're off. All right, it's falling, and I think that was a hit. That was a miss. Can't tell yet. We got it, guys. Successfully dropped the barrel on the ship. The crew will unpack the medical supplies to assist the, the uh, sick crew member. You may now return to base. We got it, guys. We got it. I think that should be our first try, honestly, because I would have got it on the other try if I had the right thing loaded, I think. Another one. So I say we got it on one try. What do you guys think? Did it take me one try or two tries? I think the first one didn't really count. But I'll let you guys make the judgment on that. So let's go ahead and unstage those. We'll put those back inside. And let's go ahead and close these doors. So that was a successful mission, guys. Where the heck is San Andreas now? We're so far away. Uh, we're just gonna have to do a 180. So let's go ahead and turn back around. That was two, but I didn't even drop anything the first time. Ah, oh, come on. That was cool. 
So yeah, there's different ways you could do it. You could come up from like the rear, the side. I saw when they were dropping on cruise ships, they actually put a one of the life, the life, not the life. They put a, one of the um. Oh, I dropped on that before too. The cargo ships. In real life, when they dropped for the cruise ships, they took the lifeboats out a little bit away from the cruise ship, and then they dropped onto the lifeboat, which was pretty cool because. Hitting the cargo ships on a cruise ship is kind of easy because it's such a big target. But when you imagine hitting a little tiny lifeboat, like a life, yeah, lifeboat, that's hard right there. So, shout out to the Coast Guard that does this in real life. That is amazing. To be able to hit such a small target on one try. All right, let's head back. Um, now, another hard thing would be doing this at night, too. I don't know if I could hit it at night. <laughs> I uh, know, thanks to another part of Coast of Call we can fly out as far as we want and the plane will not break. If you notice, we're really far out right now. You like, you can't even see the, the map. That's how far we are. So, Park's got you covered. Um, Park's got you covered there. Yeah, you can fly as far as you want, it will never break. If you miss the ship in this call, you can send the lifeboat to go pick up the barrel. Oh, we crashed again. Game memory error. Alright, we'll reload. My apologies about that. Alright, so what should we do next, guys? Do you guys want to try to drop on, like, another ship? Do you guys want to try to um, drop a life raft to a person in need, like, that's missing in the middle of the ocean? We could try to find them and drop a life raft. And then they'll get into the life raft, and then we'll try to send a helicopter to pick them up. Or should we do another airdrop? Do you guys want to do another airdrop? Maybe we'll use a different plane or we'll do it on a different boat. Let me know what we should do next. But that was pretty cool. We hit it right on the mark. Looks like we're up to 176. So we're nearly up to 200. Nearly up to 200. Uh, let me go grab that real quick. Where is this scored at? What's the um what you got in this um thingy here, this map? <laughs> Zancudo. Oh, Zancudo playing cargo. Okay, let's, looks like we're heading to Zancudo next, guys. Let me throw this into the game really quickly. Alright, I just threw it in parks, so just gotta wait for the game to start and we'll be good to go. Uh, let's see. Oh, you could jump on audio? Alright, let's try to figure that out because Discord audio is always screwed up. <laughs> so we could figure it out now while the game is starting. I'll go ahead and give you a call there. Oh, I just saw that too. I didn't even see you send me that DM, my bad. I would have had you on the whole time. Could have been our, ch our crew chief there. So Parks is going to be joining us on voice in a second. Let me go back into the game so that it actually starts. Try to drop a life raft with Hello. the CJ27. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, wow, that works. What? It usually what? does not work that fast. The first try, we got it. Oh, we're on yeah. something today. <laughs> What's going on, Parks? <laughs> hey, I'm good. What's up? Uh, pretty good. This thing is awesome. This I gotta mute the game awesome. or the stream because I was getting double. <laughs> oh, you're hearing yourself there. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I only hear you in the right side of my headset, but whatever, it's fine. Let me let me go to the left side of you. Hold on. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, I can hear you on both now. Um, 
That's weird. That, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, sorry, this morning uh, there were people around who I didn't want to bother, but they left, so now I can get on voice and not bug anyone. Nice. <sighs> All right, Anyways, so um, yeah, it was fun watching that first uh, first mission with the the job. I, I'm impressed that you got it on the first try. Well, well I did first and a half. Try it out a we'll little bit first earlier. and a half. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had a little practice this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard because, um, like, the the barrel moves forward because it has forward velocity from the plane, but it slows down because of the drag in the air. Like, I actually do the physics calculations. Oh, and wow. so, depending on how high you are, the barrel will travel further depending on how much time it has to fall. Uh -huh. And so, it's kind of tricky to, to get it every time. Uh, getting on the yacht was definitely tricky. When I was trying early on practice, I was coming in from the side because I didn't realize it was moving. I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> no, I, was, I had to make like last minute adjustments and I was like, yaw it all the way to the right. Like, it was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's amazing though. All right, let's go ahead and set up another try here. So uh, the stuff you just sent me, that's at Zancudo, right? Yeah, I just made like a, I put a bunch of cargo, like, disaster relief supplies in the hangar there, so you can like back a plane up to the hangar, and then decide what to load up and then deliver it. You don't have to do that like right now if you want to do something else first. Okay. But, um, yeah, that's what I, that's what I set up. Cool. See you later, Richard. Uh-oh. Sometimes it does that on the first try. Should be okay, though. All right, let's get loaded up again. Uh, hey, people in the stream, can you guys hear me? Did, I wonder if we got oh, that all yeah, working with OBS. <laughs> you know what? I don't think they could. <laughs> Wait, say something. Um, hello, everybody. You guys hear me in the stream? Actually, I think they did hear you this whole time. Wait, just oh, keep, good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they heard Wait. you. Wait. I can see you. One said yes, one said no. <laughs> Soldier Boy said no. Uh, oh, okay. Soldier Boy's just being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, JV Twin, what's going uh, on? Welcome to the stream. All right. Um, yeah, it would be cool to do the life good. rafts for the, uh, for the sinking ship call. That would be cool. Yeah, I think we, we should do that one next. Yeah, that'd be neat. So I want you to get the to the menu map in there so you have it. But I was like, you can do that later. Like, yeah. Nice. All right. Sounds like they hear both of us. Now, should we take the C one thirty again or the C twenty seven? I would take the C-130s because I think the handling on the C-27 is kind of funky, and yeah, I yeah. legit crashed into the water a couple times. Cause when you put <laughs> in it, I, I think it's because it gets heavy or something, and the handling's not like set up well for that. Okay. And yeah, I, I definitely once, crashed it like a bunch when I was testing last night. <laughs> Alright, so we'll, we'll stick to the C-130 for that. <laughs> yeah, you could do the old livery C-130 though. The on the C-130H, you could do the. Um, the Centennial Anniversary Livery. Are the models actually different on that one too? That one's CG-130H. So we no, have no, the J and that, the H. Meant, like, but it's, it yeah. Difference? Um, the only difference is turn off the external fuel tank extras because that particular plane doesn't have the external fuel tanks. Uh, okay. But other than that, it's just, it, it's just an extra in a livery. Oh, okay. So basically, it's like the same lane. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, let's get this thing configured up here. So yeah, if you go into the liveries for that, maybe you already have them. I don't know how much the chat delay is right now, but... <laughs> Wait, I think I just took the plane apart. 
Oh yeah, I think it's like extras five nine or something like that. Oops. I think I like removed the door panel or something. Wait, what? I, I can like, well, you'll see in this on the screen in a second. Should be nine and I think five are the liveries for the fuel tanks. It's a component, or like yeah, the, or sorry, the component, yeah, uh, the okay, extra. Sure. Okay, I can like see through the plane, so I think I kind of broke. <laughs> you might have turned off the wrong thing. Aircraft are weird because sometimes like a wing will be technically considered an extra by the game, yeah. even though like it's not. So, but it looks like you got the left one off. You just need to get the right one, which is one of the other. Where is the external? At? It's on the it's on the right wing. If you look. Um, oh, gotcha. I see. What yeah, it's the it's the bulges on the wings. Okay, so I have both off now. So I nice. Switched and here you fix whatever the invisible issue was. I don't know if it's. You see, like under the coast, I'm about to zoom in on it. Should be seeing it somewhat soon. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if I took off a piece of the plane. It's like right under the Coast Guard logo. Oh, oh, no, no, that's a window. Oh, okay. That's supposed to be there. That, that's the older, the H versions, they had like a spotting window there. Gotcha. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get. And then, yeah, just ready. delivery for the. Yeah. Shoutouts to Lewis, who uh, <laughs> apparently got into college and saved somebody as a lifeguard today. So good job, Lewis. Good job, Lewis. You're not my favorite donor, though, Lewis, because you you haven't donated in in a little while. So so you are you are my favorite, but you're not you're not my favorite donor. Is he in the chat now? Oh, I see him right <laughs> he there. You just messaged me on Discord. It was like, shout out to your favorite donor. <laughs> uh. What are we wearing again? Uh, actually... Brandon, the mod is available to people who have donated through the Perks Benefactor program, um, which is my donation program. There should be a link in the description there. It's parksmods.com slash donate, and it will be publicly released later this year, um, but airport. it's not quite ready yet for public release. And if we get to uh, 250 likes, or no, I said 300. If we get to 300 likes today, I will raffle off a uh, free beta access to one person. This is Adam 5. Copy that. We'll keep an eye and out. And yeah, Soldier Boy, you were right. It, it was a window. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. I never flew to H1 before. So I was like, wait. What yeah. Is this whole yeah, they have like half and half. They have like, I don't know, maybe 15 of the H and like 10 of the J now. That is Parks. You're here. What's up, AJ? What's up, AJ? Nice. Uh, so this see. livery on this one, they only made one of the, well, this is what the, uh, this is what the livery used to look like um, back like, I don't know, 40 years ago on the, the older planes they had. Um, and so they repainted one of the planes to the old livery because it was like the 50th anniversary of Coast Guard Aviation last or a couple years ago. Uh -huh. um, so they repainted one to look like this uh, just Coast for Guard that. Units. So I we went ahead and made a, a skin for it. So that looked on a cool. boat up the southern coast. Units requesting air support. Oh, we got an actual airdrop to call out. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's load this up again. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up really quickly. Uh, let's see. Let's go to low cargo. I'm gonna do it this way because I just have more fun doing it this way.
All right, so we're gonna actually pick up the life rafts again. Nice. Yeah, I spent like way too much time making the cargo stuff. Um, <laughs> just like all the forklift things, like you would not believe how much time I spent messing around with the forklift, trying to get everything to work, like spawning in the cargo <laughs> in the hangar, all that what stuff. Up, like, I spent probably two weeks just messing around with forklift things. I was like, isn't this supposed to be like a boats and helicopters mod? But it's like, no, I, I gotta I keep, have the forklifts. But it was just saying, it was too it, much fun. It's like the real life mod here. We go to work, lift it up, cargo. <laughs> I'm having. I'm gonna have fun with this. <laughs> I'm gonna be loaded trailers and stuff. Yeah, no, that's what I want to do later. It's like have a trailer come in with like cargo on it that you gotta unload. Yeah. I just so ha cool. I haven't haven't clicked on that. What I didn't do though is there's only one pallet prop that actually works with the forklift, which is the one I've, that you're using right now. All the other cargo stuff, the collisions don't actually have a hole where the pallet, like where the forks, the forklift can go into the pallet, so you can't actually pick them up. And I don't want to like have to edit the collisions on 50 different props. So I'm going to add something that will basically like just if you're near a prop, you can press the button. It'll just attach it to the fork. So it'll be a little less legit, but that way you'll be able to pick up anything. So I haven't done that yet, but I was working that a little bit this morning. All right, so I got a couple of life rests here. I usually bring like a lot of life rafts. There's only two in each uh, yeah. pallet, so yeah, let's take a couple. I'm from New York. I love how you put the stuff on the inside, though. That is so cool. Well, on the inside of the plane. Uh, the um, the supplies on the side. Oh, of the inside hangar. the hangar. Yeah. Yeah. I actually didn't even notice that until um, right before the stream. I was like, wait a minute. I, I just started from outside and took off. Like, I loaded everything, but I spawned them and then loaded. Oh, yeah. As they were right there, I was like, oh. <laughs> and, some, yeah, you can see on your left, the forklift actually spawns over by the stairs there. So you even have a forklift available. Oh, cool. I didn't know. It doesn't always spawn because, like, I when you spawn vehicles with uh, in a Y map, sometimes they just don't spawn. But usually, it's like, you know, they, they want the game to not always be exactly the same, I guess. All right, but you want consistency. <laughs> well, because usually they use that to spawn, like, parked cars and stuff like that. And so, uh, yeah, you yeah, know, like, you wouldn't always it's have the same car parked in the same place. But have I have not SOS yet figured out, like, a flag to force it to always spawn, spawn it. There probably is, but I haven't found it yet. I'm also talking to a guy about editing the forklift so that the forks will go higher and put like a flashing light on it and stuff. So I mean, like I could do that myself. I just haven't had time. Um, but I was talking to somebody who might do that for me. So we'll see if I might get a more, more legit forklift. It's like oh, coastal cool. callout and warehouse simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Another cool thing with the forklift is there's like a barrier or something you can pick up and drop. That would be cool. A be completely unrelated to coastal callouts. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Uh, like in New York City, like the NYPD, they have like some special forklifts, and sometimes they will deploy them to drop like barricades for counter counterterrorism. Like just make sure people don't huh. drive a car into a. Place. Well, you can spawn whatever you want and attach it to the forklift, and we yeah, yeah. All we're right. getting all the life rafts loaded up. Yeah, we're bringing everything here. How long did a flare stay activated? Like 20 minutes. Oh, okay. So pretty good while. Uh, should I bring flares? I'd bring like one box. Because yeah, sometimes if you see like a pad and you like ran out of life raft something like that, or if you just deploy life raft in ways, you can drop flares near them. And then it's easier to find them later when you're going back to like search for uh, them. That makes sense. Also, the life raft has a flashing strobe light on it. And it'll um, Roger, turn on like 50% of the time if it's dark out. Mm -hmm. You can also drive the forklift while holding a box of flares. You can like grab the flares and then get in the forklift and like hold them in your lap while you drive. <laughs> it's an emergency. We have no time to waste. Throw everything <laughs> in. I got the flares in the pallet. <laughs> oh man! All right, let me go ahead and load this thing up. 
I'll actually start the call out too. Let's see what we get. All units, we have security detail requiring assistance in Los Santos International. So that's ship rescue, right? Ocean one. Hey, Skyline that. made it in. I think. That's oh, Skyline. good. His has two R's. Shout out to Skyline GTR freak for uh, dropping by the chat. Telepathically, I just Coast sent him a message on Discord saying you should stop by the chat, and then like Coast, half a second later, like respond. he had already typed the message. <laughs> nice. All right, we got a call coming in here. Let's see what we got. All right, it looks like we have a sink and yacht parks. Uh, seven victims. Oh, Eight. shit. I think I need a lot of life rafts. Uh, yeah, I hope you have enough. <laughs> all right. Uh, also, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I added a cheat code to show where all the victims are. But I'm not going to tell you what the cheat code is yet. <laughs> no victims. Yes, we crashed. I don't know. No, just <laughs> maybe. All right, I don't so know. I got the cargo plane loaded. We have a report of a sinking yacht here, guys. Seven people on board. We have to try to get there fast because they could drift away from the yacht. So even if we find a the yacht, they may not even be anywhere near it. So time is of the essence. Ah. <sighs> So Hopefully Skyline made stuff. basically all of the vehicles in Coastal Callouts. Um, I mean, I helped a bit with some of them, but he I mean, he basically did all the hard work. So he made the Defender boat, the Motor Life boat, the Response boat. He made both of the C-130 variations. He made the Jayhawk. He made the Dolphin. He made the Sheriff and the Firefighter helicopters. So he's been an immense help and really made this whole thing possible. So everyone, uh, give your thanks to Skyline. Let's go ahead and get going here. Skyline, glad to have you in here, man. Glad to have you in here. Uh, we have a really large search area, guys. I kind of want to like that. <laughs> You're just cheating now by just spawning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, we got seven. Another one. <laughs> Load her up. Alrighty, let's see. Let's go ahead and close up. And let's go ahead and go. Uh, Scoobies, you guys still hang out with them? Don't go cheating by making the weather too good now. <laughs> Taxi down again. And we'll turn around and come back out. Alright. What's going on, Wade? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, before we take off, don't forget, guys, Parks did say if we get up to 300 likes. He's going to be raffling off a free copy of Coastal Callout. So if you guys would like Another to one. get Coastal Callouts, so make sure you guys stick here to the end of the stream. And also hit that like button if you haven't already. Hey, FDN. Welcome to the stream. Xavier, what's going on? Welcome. And for anybody watching on Facebook, the raffle, if we get it, is going to be on... Uh, the, the YouTube stream, so make sure you're watching the YouTube stream for the rap over there. Another one. Alrighty, let's go ahead and spin around. I just realized this was Liberty City, Liberty, that's nice. Yeah, the um, real life one is, I think, Elizabeth City, which is North Carolina. It's like the Aviation Logistics and Training Center, but I was like, well, I'll do something that's like Keep it GTA, to GTA friendly, yeah. yeah. So I was like, and if you look on the C-27, it says San Fierro, which is like the GTA version of San Francisco. Yeah, I remember seeing that one. That's cool. 
Alright, we are ready it's for like I'm takeoff. kind of running out of cities. Like, obviously, North Yankton's not kind of a Coast Guard station, so. Coast Guard Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's get oh, ready. Oh man, to I go. wish it was a good like Alaska map. That would be so legit. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. We're up to 210 likes. We need 300 likes on the stream, guys. 300 would get a free copy of Coastal Callouts to one lucky person here in the stream. And we are up. <laughs> I do answer my audience, but okay. Alrighty. I love that twilight set in there. It's pretty good. Pretty nice. Alright. So, we got seven victims we're going to be looking for, guys. Uh, it's going to probably be a little bit hard to find them. Okay, so you can do your, your usual uh, saying what you're doing. You don't let me stop you from your, your, your commentary and narration. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm on push to talk, so. Okay. We're good. Oh, so in the video, are you saying stuff that I'm not hearing on the chat? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that you're not going to watch it back and hear all the bad stuff I say. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, well, you should turn <laughs> on push talk so I can hear everything. Okay, I'll try to. Before we get on location. Uh, 911 from I think they still have some C-130s in Sacramento, or did they switch over to the C-27s? Alright, we are on location. We're gonna go ahead and start our search. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, especially because the planes are, like, not as nimble as the helicopters. Yeah. <laughs> We're at 229 likes. We might actually get to 300. I, I like to fly through first, and then I like to kind of just go ahead and start searching. So right now, we're just going to go ahead and fly through a little bit here. We have night vision. We have flare. Forward looking infrared. So we'll fly through the circle, and I'll see if we can find anything. Let me see if I could, um, it's probably going to pause for a second. I'm going to switch to, uh, voice acting. you seen anybody yet down there? Have you even found the plane yet? Uh, not yet. Another one. Let's go ahead and go settings. Voice. Hey, uh, Ace, can you put chat in slow mode? Uh, we're, yeah. we're getting a bit of trouble from some folks right now. I also switched to voice activation. Nice. You gonna call in any backup units to help you search? Yeah, we definitely are. So, Scoobs, uh, my name is PW Parks fan and I am the developer of the mod. Get back over here. All right, uh, Wolf so Gaming it is. We're trying to rescue a ship, but we're using a plane to find people who need rescue. All right, so that was it. Our initial pass through the search area. I didn't see anything, so we're gonna try to do a pattern and just try to cover as much of the circle as we can. And uh, we're gonna also try to call in some backup to help us out as well. Now, they could pretty much be anywhere within the circle, but they could also drift out of the circle as well, so... It is pretty tricky. Thank you, Scoob. Glad you're enjoying it. Did I just see a plane below you? Or, I mean, a boat below you, Ace? Or was that just, like, my imagination? You could have. Was it while I was still doing the other stuff? Like, the, um... Uh, I don't know. I, I thought I saw a uh, a plane, or I mean a boat, uh, but I, I was just out of the corner of my eye because I was also looking at the chat. Yeah, I did not see anything yet. So 
So do you plan to put in like a way that AI will be able to rescue people with a helicopter? Probably eventually, but uh -huh. um, right now, like probably not before the initial public release, just because like, I don't yeah, know, it's already taken so long to get this already. Over, <laughs> yeah, but that would be something I might add for version two. Yeah, it might be a little simpler where like maybe they won't do the whole voice thing, but they'll just like show up like, in a helicopter or something. Yeah. That would be cool too, because like in real life, sometimes the planes stay on location until a helicopter can get there. So that would be kind of cool, like kind of circling. Have them like circle, like the yeah. search, the yeah, search planes, you mean? Yeah, like, well, uh, like say I'm playing in the plane, so I'll drop a life raft, they'll get in, mm -hmm. and it will just kind of stay on location for like however long the helicopter takes to get there and rescue them. Yeah, I know. I, I need to think a little more about how to do that. Like, I'd like to have more, um, just more stuff that the AI can do, but, like, also I want the player to be able to do, like, the, the action. All units. Uh -huh. So, requesting air support off the um, yeah, I just need to figure out, and then also I can try, because, like, the AI yeah, tasks for planes are really bad. Like, trying <laughs> to get the, like, you think the co-pilot for the helicopter is bad? It's like, no, you should see what they're like for, um, on on planes because like the ai just cannot drive planes <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm not seeing anything i did call in for two additional search uh planes but i'm not seeing well, I mean, anything I'll find yet. Them soon. i will let you know uh i will let you know what cheap that is <laughs> we should be able to find them though as as long as they're not too far off. We'll just call in from our backup, if anything. What's up, Dominic? back on the cameras. When you're on the camera, it does automatically go into autopilot mode so that you don't have to worry about like, crashing into the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I see something. I got a flare going off to our left, Parks. Nice. It looks like it's going to be a person in the f with a flare in their hand. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and mark that location. And we're gonna go ahead and see if we get a closer look here. We still don't have eyes on the actual uh, yacht yet. Okay, so can, do you have a like a blacklist option for your uh, chat? A what option? Oh, blacklist. Like a word blacklist or something? I do, nice. but I don't think I'll be able to get to it. Oh, I found the ship. Unless I get to it. Like the moderators were all just like constantly. Uh, hey, nine one four. Are you in a hard time here. Sacramento? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, if there, you can Onyx block everybody else down there. I'll PM you what the thing is to put on the blacklist if you can. I don't know where they're coming from because I found this guy's channel and like he's not even live right now and he has like two thousand subscribers, <laughs> so I don't I don't know where all it's these trolls are coming from. <laughs> he's probably the guy talking about himself. It's just kind of pathetic. Alrighty, let's see. All right, so I'm adding it to the block words. So YouTube's gonna nice. block it automatically. All right, YouTube should block it now, automatically. Good. All right, let's go back. So we did find 
one person i also found the ship as well so i'm gonna update the search area off of the ship yeah it's a good idea to center it on that yeah let me see how center is something oh, no it's not centered at all so let's first update the search area so that the other planes know where to search and it will work on trying to get a life raft down in this guy but he has a flare, so that is definitely what is keeping him alive right now, because we would not be able to see him. The yacht is a little tricky to see, too, because when we're not next to it, it kind of, like, disappears a little bit. Yeah, I think the LODs on the yacht model are not good. Yeah, so that's why you always want to kind of mark that first, if you guys are playing this. So, if you update guys chat, search location. Um, we took care of the spam issue for now, so... Y'all can chill and go back to enjoying the stream. Alright, so we update the search area. I still have the other guy with the flare mark. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to drop a life raft now. Let's go ahead and get that staged. Get the doors open. That's a cool 9-1 film. Do you see the do you actually see the C27s taking off there much? I haven't actually seen one of those yet in real life. I've seen the C130s, but I haven't seen the C27s yet. All right, we're good now, we're good. <laughs> Scooby said calling an A-10 and sink to the ship. Oh wait, wrong mission. <laughs> <laughs> Parks didn't make that, that uh, mod yet. <laughs> yet. Y'all are always trying to get me to make something else. You're like, well, what if you made like this? You mean that? It's like, man, how much time do you guys think I got? <laughs> <laughs> it's already hard enough with the like 10 mods I already have. Right, I, I do want to make that small position in here. Alright, I got it. Alright, we're lined up. I see the raft. Well, I see the yacht. I don't see anybody next to the yacht, but I see the guy with the flare, so let's go ahead and go in for that. I'm gonna let autopilot kind of hold this here. Yeah, it's really helpful doing the rough suit. It goes a lot slower on autopilot than you can really get it to go manually without killing the engines, so it uh -huh. really helps you make like a precise drop. Alright, let's get ready. Now, I'm not sure how much to lead this here, but... We have a visual. Moving in. Dang it. I thought I... Oh, wait. I dropped two by accident. My bad. I wasn't sure if the first one went out, but that's cool. That is very cool. Let's see which one he's going to go to. Hopefully, it's close enough. Let's see. We can zoom in. Oh, he's swimming. He is swimming. Let's see if he's going to be able to make it. He's swimming. This guy's an Olympic swimmer, guys. <laughs> I did make it if they're injured, they swim slower. But. Now, that was the oh, first nice. time you I did it. it really close to him, too. Yeah, that was the first time I did it with autopilot, too. Which I wasn't expecting to bring us up so much, so I was like, ah, crap, crap. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty oh, good. good. I wonder why he's swimming the one that's further oh, away. Maybe that was just one that hit first. I think I crashed. Oh, we crashed the game. Not the whole game, let's, did that let's, yeah, let's be a car crash. I, can you send me the log? Yeah. Would this one be the one in the folder or the one? Cause it, nah, it would just be the rage plugin hook, that log. Okay. That sucks. Alright, so let me grab that really it's all quickly. Going so well. I wonder if I have some bug with the, um, the new stuff, I don't know. Now we would never know if he made it. <laughs> uh, let me see. I think he was about to make yeah. it though. But we were getting too far away to see. I was trying to spin around. Yeah, well, it, they probably all got deleted after it crashed. Because Coastal automatically cleans up after itself if it gets unloaded. So, like, everything, all the call out stuff gets cleared up. I think you should have the log now. Should what? I just sent the log. So I'm going to reload. Oh, Doing some uh, live user testing here. <laughs> Did, can they make a plane that hovers over the person and pull them up to safety? Well, that's what we have the helicopters for. 
So the helicopters are much more suited for that role. So they'll come in, uh, they'll lower rescue swimmer, pick them up, and then bring them up. Alrighty. All right, so we're good. What's up, East Tennessee? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> well, we didn't lead them. It's not like we just straight up left. Game crash. <laughs> All right, let's reload. We're up to 248 likes, guys. 248. We need 52 more. Oh, I'm on duty already. I'm looking up. We need 52 more likes, and we'll be raffling off a copy of Coast to Call Outs here. So definitely hit that like button. And I'm gonna go ahead and just force the call real quick. Well, I found oh, what uh, caused the crashes. That fast. Yeah, but it took me like. When you days. send a log, it tells me exactly what <laughs> line the crash came from, so I just went and opened up the code and I made a silly little thing. So. Alright, so. So we'll fix that. We will fix that. That's the importance of beta testing, guys. Any available Coast Guard unit, hey, we have an SOS distress up. signal off the western coast <laughs> on you to respond. Well, I'm just said, why'd you leave them behind? It crashed, maybe we leave them behind on purpose. <laughs> it's not like I just straight up left. Hey, uh, they'll be aight. I never answered the chat. Interesting. This is probably the same person. I think I just froze. Come on, grind up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You can do cool stuff with GTA, but then it's like sometimes it just crashes. <laughs> how to get the mod besides the giveaway. The other way to get the mod, again, is still in um, beta testing. So if you'd like to join the beta testing team, you could do so by checking out the link in the video description, parkmods.com slash donate, and it'll explain, explain everything you need to do from there. So again, link down below, Ace Pilot 2 is a, a wrong one, parkmods.com. It's, it's parks mods, mods with, an, with two S's, so make sure that if you go to park mods, I don't think that exists, but parks <laughs> mods. Just so y'all go to the right place. No wonder why donations have been low, Badger. <laughs> yeah, it does look like that. I think my game kind of froze, like not responding. I'm trying to see if it's going to fix itself on its own. Uh, no, it didn't. It's not you that crashed Trucker Life. It's me. I may just have to reload. GTA is not responding. Right, I'll just reload. I don't know how long it's going to take. Well, at least we saw the guy almost get in a life raft. <laughs> That was cool though, he was swimming for his life. Now, I did see that green thing next to it. Was that the light or was it, I was just sure. Oh, you know what? That's a little debugging icon that I probably should have disabled. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure what that was. I was like, ah. Yeah, good call. I'll change that too. Okay, cool, cool. And you're very welcome to Adrian. Yeah, it was something I put in there just so I could see. <laughs> this if guy he... is coming with a million different things. This guy has no life at all. It's just really pathetic. This is like his third or fourth. Like, get a life. <laughs> Dude's Go. probably just jealous that he can't be streaming Coastal Callouts. Ay, ay, ay. Go find another streamer with more people <laughs> promoting. <laughs> That's Thank like you, the Scoop. Worst type I enjoyed of the stream. <laughs> Wait, I don't get why people really 
<laughs> I'm gonna put into Nightbot because that doesn't. YouTube may have to like restart the stream or something for that to take effect. It doesn't look like it's doing anything about it. Well, he keeps changing what the text is because he's like literally up to nearly ten accounts. Turn it up, turn it up. Oh, it's more than ten, man. John Michael, thank you for the one dollar super chat. Really appreciate that, buddy. All right, I'm gonna use Nightbot instead. All right, Nightbot has been up. You know what? While you're restarting, mm -hmm. I can send you a fix for those bugs. <laughs> oh, okay. A sec to compile it. Oh, it did work the first time? Okay. Yes, yeah, people have no lives. There he goes again. Okay, so I just PM'd you on Discord. Perfect. Okay, dokey. I have to get a new headset, or maybe try this one with a different wire, because it, it cuts out every once in a while. I've been hearing you. No, no, like I can't, like I can't hear anything for like five seconds randomly. Hmm. So oh, like, right weird. after you said that, right after you said yes, and then a new one, it just like cut out. Hmm. It's a wireless one, so I'm not sure if it's the wire that's broken, so it's not hmm. charging properly, or if the actual headset is acting up. gotta be the headset because it doesn't completely like ever die so it, it must be getting charged it just cuts out every once in a while oops that's not right So those are in, and we're good to go. This person is sad. Well, we're at 260 likes, so we might be able to, uh, we might actually hit our goal. Also, I want to talk to you later about your rudder controls causing the drop because I checked the code and it's supposed to be the vehicle aim and fire buttons for like the same as what your weapon would be if mm. the vehicle had a weapon. So we'll have to figure out later why that's different because for me it was it yeah, was what you it's expect. working right. Like when I'm doing the drop and everything, I'm using the fire controls. Well, but the it's... rudder controls were also doing it. Wait, is this supposed to be? Um, because I don't really use keyboard. Um, is supposed it's supposed to be, to be right and left click on the mouse. Alright, so let me try that. Let's see what happens. But like, when you're turning with the rudder, does it cause the stuff to drop? Yeah, like, it does. So I yeah, because like, it shouldn't do that. Because you should be able to use the rudder. So like, but is the rudder different controls from what the vehicle weapon controls are? Well, inside of the vehicle, like if I'm driving a car, to shoot and yeah. aim would be the, the, not the triggers, the two bumper ones. Okay. Like the, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not the same as the one on foot. 
Hmm. Okay, well, like, we'll have to look into that. Keyboard, is it the same controls inside a car and like while you're walking? It is. That's yeah. probably why. On the but I use the it's different. Well, but in the code, it's just um, you just say like vehicle weapon aim and vehicle weapon fire are mm. the yeah. So that's the same like, as keys. the rudder controls. Oh, so when you're right. flying an armed plane, do you shoot anytime you use the rudder? See, that's a good question. Like if you get in like the laser or whatever, because that would explain why. Just cut out. I'll have to check and see. And it's back. Okay, so you laser. I was saying, if you get in like a laser or something like that, then if you turn with the rudder, does it shoot? I'm gonna have to try and see because I'm not. It doesn't. I gotta see how it is set up. I wonder if the controls are different when the plane does or doesn't have a weapon. It could be, because I know with the laser and stuff, they have like the switch weapon button. Mm. Did, so what are the controls on the controller for sh aiming and shooting on foot? So on foot, let's pull out a random gun here. <laughs> so on foot, on the controller, right? Yeah. All right, so if you press the left trigger, that would make you aim. And then right trigger would make you fire. And if you're in a vehicle, do those do anything? No, in a vehicle, let's just spawn. Like in a plane. Oh, in a plane. Oh, in a plane, uh, the, r the left trigger is to slow down or back up if you're on the ground, and the right trigger is to like, go forward or thrust. Mm. So like in the menu, it says to like press the right trigger and the left trigger, which would be telling you to like speed up and slow down. Mm. But, but it's reality, actually it's... okay. So yeah, what I want to know then is in a vehicle, in a plane that does have weapons like the laser, what is it to aim and shoot? Yeah, that I'd have to check. I don't remember. Okay. We'll have to look into that because I don't have a controller. So like, I don't know how you do all of this without a controller. <laughs> I just I've never used a controller. I just I'm used to using keyboard and mouse. I'm old school. I would die trying to pilot these helicopters. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's probably I'm not very good at flying helicopters. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, Jaden. I thought you had to go to a party this afternoon, Ace. I do, but I didn't realize that it started so late. Cause it was like a ah. kid's party, so I thought it would be like like 12 my time or something. And it's actually like 5 my time. Nice. And most likely they're going to start late. <laughs> uh, let's get our uniform back. So we're all set. I just did everything the fast way. <laughs> Skyline is judging me now flying without a controller. <laughs> <laughs> I could get one, but I don't know, it's just like But that's pretty good that it, it still works so well. Like with a controller. It, yeah, I could probably make it work better it, if I had like, one. Better, like, <laughs> But I usually just use, like, if in the code, you just say what game control to use, and so, like, it doesn't matter what actual key it is. It's just, like, you say, you know, 
use the vehicle drive key and it's like W or forward on the deck or whatever. We've got an SOS call off the west coast. All units respond. Well, I'm glad we got our chat back to our, our normal friends here. What's up, Skyline? Hi, FDN. Xavier, what's up? Alright, oh my Aiden, goodness, nine victims. Hey, Jaden. No, you're trying to <laughs> save him. Ace, Ace, you're not trying to kill him. You're trying to save him. Alright, we're back. Alright, so... We got another sinking vehicle that guy in a sinking boat. Nine people reported to be on this one. I didn't see what type of boat it was though. It's gotta be something big, it says 179 meters. <laughs> the weather's looking nice, yeah. I kinda like when it's like this twilight, sunset, sunrise. Is that air parks? Yep. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. I was just waiting for things to catch up. So, will we be able to drop people in the future? Yeah, I was actually working on that uh, the other day. I posted a screenshot kind of teasing that, but I don't think people connected the dots of what was going on in the screenshot because they were too distracted by the colors of the parachute. <laughs> I gotta go back and look. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna make it so that you can load people up and then uh, you'll be able to like set a waypoint and then tell either all or one of the pets in your plane to jump out. Attention all units, units requesting air support. Looks like we have an incoming raid from Jim Anton Z. We Thank you so, so much for the raid there, Anton. And welcome That's the kind everybody. of raid that you want in your channel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> for anybody coming in to a raid, this is Coastal Callouts by PNW Parks fan. You guys will hear him talking in the background. And uh, right now, we're pretty much trying to find a missing ship. Uh, nine people on board. We're going to try to rescue them. And um, first off, we just got to find them. <laughs> but welcome, 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 everybody. Let's see, Baked Cupcakes, Eric, Games for Life, Xavier, welcome, Tyler. The sunset looks so nice right now. What's and all you new people coming us? in, make sure to make sure to hit that like button because if we get to 300, I'll be raffling off free beta access to Coastal Callouts to one person. So everyone, hit that like button. And there he is, Anton. What's going on? Welcome to the stream, buddy. All right, let's get back to the search area. I did call in for two planes to kind of help us out, and let's see if we can find. Oh, I see a flare already. I don't know if I'm gonna get this fast enough. Uh, stage. I know, right? I'm always like rushing. I'm like, shit, get it, open the door. <laughs> they all got. Uh, it's like in real life too. Like they got a plan, you know. Like you gotta I think line I maybe everything hit this up. Person on fast, uh, fast enough. Oh, with no practice, coming in hot. I'm not gonna drop it too close, but I'm not gonna but that was I have not seen yet what happens enough. if you drop it on their head. I, I imagine you could kill them. Alright, we also found the cargo ship as well. We found the first person. They had a flare in their head. Dispatch, we have a visual. Moving in. Um, AJ, the raffle is if we Attention get 300 likes. Unit. So you Target don't see it yet because it hasn't happened yet. We need to get more likes first. Alright, another Coast Guard team. I just saw a person. I think they found the same person that we found. And time with the count it up. 10. Count it up. Thank you so, count so much, there, Count it up. 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 Yes, it does. Oh Thank my you, god. Anton. Danger close. Oh, oh dude, you way too to close to that other J model there. <laughs> Alright. Let me go look at that person and see if they got into the raft or not. Maybe you should have it put a blip when you drop a raft so you can like come back and find it again later. Yeah, that would be helpful. Alright, uh, can't tell if we use it. 
It looks like he must be. I'm gonna use a camera. He is definitely inside, I think. We're gonna have our we got eyes on the target. Double check for us, but I think he's in. <laughs> I'm, wait I'm waiting for the camera feed to come up still. Yeah. This is the H model, the, the older model, C130, so it's a little bit of delay. <laughs> Welcome in everybody coming in from Anton stream. I appreciate all you guys coming in. Hope you had a good it's stream. It's hard to tell because you're moving so fast. I think yeah, he's I in know. it because the player is coming out of the life raft. That means he got into the raft. Oh yeah, he's in there. He's, he's in, there. in there, right? All right, so let's yeah, continue our search. Um, I think I updated nice. our so area. That was pretty good because we, we did that really fast. <laughs> but I literally found them. I was like, dang, we're already lined yeah, up. That let's was just good. try to make one fast. I'm gonna search the cargo ship, see if anybody's on it. Now, it's hard because we can't hover, so we can kind of have to just be <laughs> I know, right? It's, yeah, and I, I tried to get it so you could, like, target something and then have the, the co -pilot, or, like, the autopilot circle around it. Uh -huh. And, like, every time I gave it the task to circle a point, it would just go lower and lower until it crashed <laughs> into the water. <laughs> That's what they like to do the best. Crash. Alright, that C-130 is... Dispatch, we got oh, eyes they on found the target. second person, they found two people. All available Coast Guard units. Target is off the south coast. And they could be finding people that you already put in a life raft, because they're not considered rescued in a life raft. They're not considered yeah. rescued until you get them into like a Coast Guard boat or a helicopter. Okay, so this is good though. They found two people this time. And they're at a different location. They're next to the first person. Let me see if I can cut this turn hard enough to line up. So for those of you asking how to get this mod, this is Coastal Callouts. I'm NW Parks and I created it. It's currently in beta, so it's available to donors who join the Parks Benefactor program. There's a link in the description to parksmods.com slash donate. And if we get to 300 likes, which we're getting close to, then um, I will be raffling off free access to one person in the stream. Um, and then it'll be publicly released sometime later this year after we get a few more things finished and get uh, some more beta hey. testing done. What's up, Josh? All right, so it looks like one of the people they saw was the same person. Um, the second person is somewhere next to them, but I didn't get a visual, so I'm trying to... I wonder if they're close enough that they'll be able to swim to the other life raft. There's a limit of like how close they can be before they'll actually swim into the life raft. Yeah, I don't think they're close enough. They get tired if they swim too far. Oh, I just accidentally dropped one. <laughs> See, that's the bad thing <laughs> with that's the rudder controls. You gotta carry enough because you, you might run out. That's the bad thing with the rudder controls there. <laughs> if you close the back, then you can't drop, so that'll prevent you from dropping it by accident. Alright, they should be right there. I'm still off. Alright, let's try to use a camera. Yeah, it's surprisingly tough because, like, you're moving so fast. I yeah, know. you're moving fast. And you have, you, like, you're not nimble like with a helicopter, you know? It's like, yeah. it's it's difficult. <laughs> this is really hard. FDN's making us pizza. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for you guys in the back there, parts. <laughs> Thinking this thing way over our bank limit. <laughs> They're like hanging on, grabbing on, like, ah, oh, shit, we're gonna fall out. With the door open. <laughs> I do, do have it, um, this isn't in the, this is just in my local development version right now, but it'll actually spawn a ped on the ramp. Hmm. Um, what I have not done is made it so if you bank really hard, they'll fall out. But maybe I should do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they should be strapped in. Just gonna True. Be you just have them ragdolling around, like, so I could actually attach them with a rope to see them swinging around in the back. Alright, they found, like, a couple more people, but I cannot see any of them. Let's see if we can find this you one. You might even fly a little lower so you can actually, like, see them. Yeah, that just wasn't fast. <laughs> it's hard without the rudder. I'll, I'll need to do something about that. Yeah, because the rudder helps with those last minute adjustments. Yeah. I'm about to actually drop one again. <laughs> I was just about to press the button. I was like, nope. Try, I mean, you could use the keyboard if you have to. A and D are rudder on the keyboard and won't cause it to drop. We're right we have a visual. Moving in. You get lower. Yeah, 
you're not gonna find these people. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Oh, wait a minute. I think I did see. I think I did see somebody over there. So I flew right over the position, right? I was trying to go slower. I have eyes on the target. What's up, Jose and Josh? This is hard. Okay, the ones with the flat without the flares, they're hard to see, guys. That first one was easy, he had a flare, but the rest of them, I'm just not seeing them. What's up, Toro? <laughs> it even said you located, them. but it's yeah. like... I mean, I don't want to really just cheat and do like a drop without really seeing them. Well, if they told you to drop it somewhere, right? Like. Try to get in there. See, I would use the autopilot, but it, it brings us up too much. Right, because it doesn't want to crash, so it yeah. tries to keep the. Wait, I'm thinking I've seen another flare. We got eyes on another flare. This is, good. This is not the same person, I don't think. I see the light crack, we just pass the light crack. So I'm hoping this is a different person, guys. No, it's the same one. <laughs> uh, you know what? I forgot. I, I dropped two life rounds. Dispatch, we That's got right. eyes on the target. I forgot. I dropped that extra one by accident. Alright, well, good thing is that everybody is somewhat found. Not all nine, but the majority of them are just finding them all the way. When you switch to that other camera, you're not in autopilot. Like the, no. Uh, the the interior screen. cameras, you're still flying unless you manually put it in autopilot. Yep. We have a visual. Moving in. Alright, they got a visual. Attention all Coast Guard person. unit. Target There's is on a boat up the right southern here, coast. Somewhere. We're doing some formation flying, trying to pinpoint this person. Do you imagine, like, that person's right down there and they're just like, they keep flying overhead, but they haven't dropped me a raft. We have a visual on the target. Uh, dropped the raft, I saw him. I didn't see him, but I dropped the raft, but now I saw him. So at least now I can use a raft to kind of see where he's at. Alright, I found another person, guys. He's, he may make that raft, he may not, but... And I could kind of see where he's at by looking at the raft that we did drop. You can drop the flares too. It's oh, a good yeah. way to like mark if you think someone is in a certain place. True that, true that. I think the handling on the H is a little less nimble than the handling on the J, too. You'll actually notice better performance on the newer one. Makes sense, though. Let's see. Alrighty. I think we That's the right. Oh, we're at 289 likes. I'm gonna get the raffle form ready just in case, but we'll wait to actually drop it until we see if we hit 300. Yeah, I cannot find the parts. Dispatch, we have a big Well, do you want me to tell you the cheat code? <laughs> um, I think that maybe we switch to a helicopter. Can do that. A little bit more control. I really want to get another person to the life raft, but I want to try to like at least be able to pick up two people out of their life. Yeah, that would be cool. And then the rest, hopefully, we'll find them coming up there. But I definitely saw another person 
they were really close to that first person. But, um, I kind of lost them. According to the other unit, they're right in front of us. Oh, I see him, see him, see him. Did he make it into the life raft? I think he did. All right, we got two people in two different life rafts here. So that's good. <laughs> right now, what I'm seeing on the screen is you're flying and you're like completely <laughs> perpendicular. I know. <laughs> that's funny for you. All right, we got two people in. Um, I think we're gonna have to expand our search area though because they're not finding anybody else. So. I'm gonna return to base, switch out, and then head back out. That's gonna be our game plan for now. So we're gonna go grab a probably a Jayhawk. So we got those extra. Yeah, because there's so many. Yeah, just to fit them all. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back. Let's unstage this car. Let's close up our doors. So we had. I think we have two successful drops. We'll figure that out once we get back in the helicopter and we get a nice closer look. But I think we have two life rafts or two people in life rafts, which is awesome. Uh, the other seven, I just can't find them. Hopefully, we'll get a final with the helicopter teams. You could call out some boats too to help search. Yeah. You know what we should do is people who donate, they should have a chance to have their name be one of the victims. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, I came in too high. Oh, everybody hold on. Ah, we're good. Good thing about the C-130s. They are made for tactical landings, as you guys just saw there. Tactical landings, I'll tell you, bad landing. <laughs> they can land in some crazy places. That wasn't a bad landing. Crazy approach, but the landing was crazy. Alright, so let's leave this one parked up right here. Oh, okay. They're sending out a dolphin, actually. You know? They just got rerouted to that call. They were just about to land and they're like, oh, no, head back out. So let's go ahead and grab a helicopter. We'll get a team. We have some dolphins here, but I kind of want to take the Jayhawk out because we have a lot of people. The Jayhawk does have a couple extra seats, which is going to be beneficial to us. So let's see, Coast Guard. We're going to switch to the helicopter pilot. Actually, I'd probably switch to a rescue swimmer since we're going to be doing that. So we're going to be the rescue swimmer this time. We're going to get a pilot to fly for us. We'll do some of the flying ourselves too, but we're going to pilot. And we are ready. All right, let's do this. Dispatch, we have a visual. Moving in. Any available Coast Guard unit, target last seen off the south coast. All right, they just found somebody again. It's probably the same person. Let's head out and try to make these rescues now, guys. Oh, I should probably, oh wait, no, not yet. That's gonna, I was gonna say I should clear that stuff, but then it's gonna delete all our life rounds. And all your victims. Two hundred and ninety-two likes, guys. Eight more likes and somebody's gonna win a copy of Coast of Call Outs. What's up Dwight? What's up Mouse Mickey? Brad, what's going on? Coast 
those guardies to the rescue. <laughs> Get our team ready. You should call out another search team because it's going to take a while to find all these guys. Yeah. Let's do that. I got to update the area too. Attention all units. Units requesting air support up the southern coast. Air support is on its way. Right, I called in the whole cavalry. <laughs> Lewis, thank you so, so much for the stars on Facebook. Do appreciate that. Oh, they found two more people. Let me see how far... Everybody's next to each other. Now we're going. So we definitely want to update our search area because everybody that they're finding is kind of in that central location. So we want to make the other aircraft and boats search in the updated area. on the first line around with their parts. Nice. The one with the person with the flare. Alright, what you thinking? Are we gonna do a dive out or a lower out? Up to you. You're the swimmer. <laughs> Oh, I've got eyes out. on the target. I wonder if the waves push them up. Or if he never got it. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and get ready as the rescue swimmer. Oh, it is interesting that he fell out. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the waves. Yeah, something could have happened where, like, since you were nearby, he started the waving task and that, like, kicked him out of the car or vehicle or something. Alrighty, let's see. So we are pretty much right I think above them. Wait, something? I think that I think you should jump. I think that would be cool. Free falling. Alright, let's get low. Crazy. These waves are really high when you get close. Alright, I'm gonna make the jump. They're pretty close. I'm gonna tell them to go ahead and gain some altitude. And let's make the grab on this guy. Oh, these waves are intense. Can we both get in the life bro? Yeah. Oh, you can also just climb in there. There. Okay, we got him. Alright, so I'm gonna try to keep his head above the water here. And. Alright, that's looking good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and lower down the roof. Some big waves. I know, I was not expecting to be that bad. On the plane, it looks smooth because like it doesn't render the wave detail when you're that high up. Then you yeah. get down there, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, let's get them to the line. Where did it go? There it is. How do you dual hoist again? I forgot. I haven't been this in so long. What dual hoist? Uh, shift star. Ah, uh, shift star. So we're going to save time, do it one time, get us both out of here. And we have the swimmer and the survivor coming up. And we're up, bringing in the survivor. Okay, he's 
open and we are in okay. So we got we made the first grab. Um, the second person was kind of close to time, so I'm fine with the camera. Oh, I see the second one. We are at 298. <laughs> I see the one that's in the life raft, but there's actually a close to person that's not in the life raft. So we're gonna grab the one that's not in the life raft first. Which I did not see, but apparently he's here somewhere. guy has a life raft. Okay. So I wonder if the other, the other life raft is probably that empty one. We have a visual on the target. Yeah. Oh, you know what I need to do is I need to make it... I need to make it so that if one of the search crews sees a life raft, they tell you where it is too. Another grab here, guys. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. It didn't even look as bad, but it's pretty, it's pretty bad. Uh, no, the call-out pack is not out yet, but you could get early access to it. Now that we got 300 likes, one person, one lucky person oh, will get early access to it. If you are not that lucky person, you can still get early access to it we by have checking out in. the link down below. All available Coast Guard units, oh God, target last crazy. seen on a boat off the southern coast. See, so yeah, like usual, we will drop the raffle link at the end of the stream. Um, oh, this guy is actually in it. Find him there too. Oh. He may not have been actually in it. <laughs> They're supposed to sit inside, right? Uh, yeah, they do sit. Yeah, so he was they just trying to push it in there. <laughs> there. I'll have to check because there's supposed to Oh my to god, it. oh my god, we got a shark. We got a shark. Oh, oh my god. Oh, climb in the raft. Where's the raft? Oh my god, I never had a shark before. Oh my god. Oh no, that guy, oh, that guy was in it, but then you stole his seat. Oh, That's what happened. Shoot. You kicked that guy out. I hope he's he, he was totally sitting in it, and then you got in and kicked him out. God, we got a shark here, Parks. <laughs> I don't know if where you get guy is by right a now. shark, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Oh my god, the shark is right next to him. I got the infrared. Oh my god. Get in the light raft. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna rescue him though. Throw him a life preserver while you're sitting in the life raft. I can't see him well. <laughs> I can see him from the helicopter, but I'm trying to mark him. Oh, no. oh, yeah, there you go. oh, he's drifting away really fast. Right. Mark them again. You gotta be over there somewhere. Maybe Ace is distressed by this situation. Oh, I see him. I see him. Can I throw a life raft in here? A life raft? No. I mean, a life throw a life raft. Yeah, well, you could stand up and just stand on it. Like, I didn't mean for you to get in like you were getting oh, in the vehicle. I might just climb on it. I wasn't trying to die, man. Because then if you're standing it. on it, then you can... Hey, grab this. Oh, the stroke is on. I just noticed that. Come on, grab it. This is crazy. Oh, man, I can't see. I need some calm seas. <laughs> You think I would make it that easy on you? I think you miss. I miss. <laughs> Onyx, like, glad to see sharks got, got after someone besides just me. <laughs> you know, I never had sharks, too. I can't see with these waves. Let me have a camera. Let's see how close. 
it. Oh, he swam into it. Alright, he swam into it. He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. He's actually swimming past it. Looks like he's coming to the raft. Alright, so he's gonna go to the raft instead. He's like, screw your little life ring. I want the big floaty thing. <laughs> Get in, buddy. It's Get tough because like there's all these different things going on and they might conflict a little bit. Um, so like yeah, if he's right. trying to swim to I the life him. raft and swim to the life ring at the same time, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know, you know. Right. Oh, I need to take the marker off them when they're swimming too. Let's see, I would have um did a basket this time just to do something different, but um, yeah, I ain't trying to stay with the shark guys. We out together. That line down. <laughs> that line down. Rocket to or Onyx is like, I always get multiple sharks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, man. I swear, I'm down. not like detecting your username and then spawning sharks, I swear. Oh my god, alright. I only got him on the line. I'm staying in the preserver. I mean, in the life front. Oh my goodness, that was. Good thing you don't get seasick too easy. Oh man, this is crazy. If you want to start the um, raffle process now, I'm probably going to have to end soon. Oh, you got to go to your party? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure I got to start heading out. Make a run for this line. So, thank you everybody who came out to the stream. Shout outs to all of you. Um, here is the raffle link, so go ahead and fill that out, and I will uh, pick randomly from everybody who entered. Alright, so I'm getting myself back in. Oh, right, I'm scared. That was legit scary. <laughs> Soldier Boy finish. said he would die if it overturned, the shark was right there. That happened with the tugboat once, that overturned. It's the only time I heard Ace swear in a video. That literally scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that was maybe my favorite coastal video ever. Alright, let me go find this next person. Um, Alright, I'm going to let the pilot fly us over there. I've got eyes on the target. Altitude, please. Attention all Coast Guard units. Target is in the water on the west coast. Uncheck max speed. Oh. They, they struggle to maintain oh. altitude when you do max speed. That's why. Alright, I'm going to be back in like 30 seconds. I'm just how soon I'm gonna I... Oh my god, see what dirty this is. Really so guys, dangerous. make sure that you fill out that raffle so that you um, get entered to win uh, free access to coastal callouts. Responses or settings, limit response. Uh, no. Okay, not AJ, uh, try filling it out again.
Onyx, when are you going to do another Coastal episode? It's been a little while since I've seen you in some shark action. Another one. We got eyes on the target, moving to engage. Any available Coast Guard unit, we have a um, boat off the west coast. Onyx, maybe we'll need to set up a time for, for you and me to get together on a coastal stream so that you don't have to do any of that pesky editing. guys hanging like that. Right. Hello? I'm here. Okay. Cool. Looks right, like so... the plane crew just found a couple more pads for you. I see one person in the uh, light uh, I think. Were we on top of someone? So. Uh, you were, but then they moved. I guess they, they drifted. drifted right? Did you figure out what time your party is? Uh, well, it starts at five, which is it's five. Another one. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving to engage. They always start. So she said we're gonna leave at like 45 minutes. I don't think we should leave that. All right. I'm gonna end the stream in about probably 10 minutes. Though. Hopefully, you can rescue some of these guys by then. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you the cheat code now so we can hurry up and get them all before uh, the stream is over? Or you just gonna, or you can just leave some of them out there, you know, just l leave them to die. Let's see if we can at least fill up this helicopter. How many people we could grab in here? Again? I think there's ten seats total, including the pilot. And that's <coughs> okay. We have nine victims, so I guess one. We won't have room for one of them. Well, we have a co-pilot though. That's what I mean. Oh, so. Cause, like, there, like, there won't be enough seats. You might have to leave yourself behind. <laughs> you stay in the life raft, and then... Technically, I can always send another helicopter. <laughs> sure, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but then he wouldn't be able to take them in there, though. Well, you can just dismiss it, and he'll send them off. I think they're still in this life raft. You can put it on follow nearest vehicle mode, and it'll put you down, like, basically right on the raft. Oh, I lost 
Hopefully that shark doesn't come back. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes they end up out of the boat. I'm thinking it's the waves. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I only, this is the first one to try this so one. I'd have to try it in the and see if there's a difference. <laughs> I was, it was longer than 30 seconds. Alright, let's get something else. Let's do a basket for you guys who have Oh, oh my god, I'm about to die. Oh no. What? What'd you do? R.I.P. What'd you do, Ace? Dead. I didn't realize I was under the water. Dude, okay, remember how you drowned that one time because you were underwater too much and you were like, this guy should have been able to breathe more? Mm -hmm. I literally, in the last update, I forgot to put this in the changelog, but I changed it so that um, your breath lasts for two minutes. Okay? Yeah. But if you change characters, then it does. It only applies to, um, it only applies to like when you first load the mod. Everybody, don't mind what you're. We have a visual on the target right now. <laughs> All available Coast Guard units. Right. Target last seen in the water off the west coast. I told you I still have the same profile picture on my uh, Discord, but it's on my YouTube channel that it's my my new logo. No. What happened to that guy now? That we just kind of left. Oh out. god. <laughs> no one saw anything there? Perfect. <laughs> now, I don't know what happened to that guy now. Is he over there? Did you put him in? Oh my god, you're gonna hit the rotors. <laughs> I went right through it too. Oh. I see another life raft, but I think that's not so different. It might have been the same guy. You could have drifted while you were getting revived. Oh my god, I'm doing it again. No. Well, you already set yourself god mode, so. No, I took it off. <laughs> oh. Did I take it back off? Yeah, I took it back off. <laughs> I should just make it so that you can't drown when you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How far are we from this guy? I'm trying to swim. <laughs> Better fix your health so you don't die the moment you go underwater again. Yeah. I want to play this out. Oh yeah, we got like a dozen people in there. Nice, nice. Now hopefully everybody that went in does have Grand Total 5 for PC. Yeah, if you don't have Grand Total 5 for PC, then you don't, you don't, you don't get yeah, there. Definitely tell us we don't want the person to win that not even have the game. That did happen once before. Yeah. I don't know if that was your stream or someone else's, but yeah, one of mine. Like I won. How do I install it on my Xbox? And I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> That shirt. I didn't have it. I never had a shirt. That's that's Steve. Steve has that. Alrighty. Should be here somewhere. Hey, so you make a version of your logo that instead of a fighter jet has like a C-130. Like same logo, just C-130. That would be cool. Uh, Grim, the raffle is for free beta access to Coastal Callouts. I'll drop the link in there again for ya. Oops, that's, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> At least when you're the rescue swimmer, you're supposed to go in the water. <laughs> Not like when you play on the boat and you're like, ah, I went in the water again. Alright, he's pulling off there. I'm trying to help 
you. It's going to be okay. There we go. Bones work. Right, that didn't work, but at least I got you here. You're a very good swimmer. Good job. <laughs> oh, <I'm tired. laughs> All right, let's get this guy out of here when something else happens. This time I'm staying in the raft. Lower down a rescue basket. And we're trying to get them in there. This will be extremely tricky in real life with these waves and all the up and downs. Come on, jump in there. Oh. Josh, oh, do you no. want me to delete you from the raffle? Where did he go? I lost him. Oh, I thought you goes. had him in the basket. What did you do? Uh, put a man to the mark. Are you? That thing is so hard. Especially with the waves going up and down, because the basket's not actually moving. But it looks like it is, because you're moving up and down so hard. Dude, did you let that guy drown? Uh, oh my god, I'm about to drown again. No. How it ends. Oh my goodness. Did you drown believe, again? I don't believe what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we're gonna be dismissed from this rescue squad here. <laughs> you go get fired. Oh wait, hold on, I can't do you. <laughs> You're gonna get fired. Yeah, Steam GTA 5 counts. Oh man. You died just. You turned off God mode and then you died? I turned it on and then accidentally turned it off. Oh no. So we gotta do another Halo jump now. Oh, Ace. What a, what a mess. Okay, we get ourselves into it. <laughs> it's like, oh, we'll do planes. It's cool. <laughs> You're like, nah, we should go get up with the helicopter. You guys know bad weather here. I'm going clear. Oh, we don't even know where this guy is now. He can't be all the way over there. Is he that far away? Yes, he is. <laughs> Ace, hey, so you should just use the coastal teleport next time, it'll just put you on the water. Oh, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, it's in the console and also in the coastal menu. How many are left? Uh, after this guy, that'll be the third person. 
the oh, third. Six. There's still six more? Yeah. I got, we got a uh, location on the other person. Oh, man. I want to hopefully try to at least find everybody. Or at least fill up the helicopter. But I'm kind of fighting time right now. Waited for the search plane to slam into the Jayhawk. <laughs> we had some close calls. I have yet to see the search plane actually crash into anything, I will say that. But yeah, there's a first a time for everything. Encounters, but never that close. Alright, let's try to grab this next one. Let's get back inside. So we have got still 12 people who did the raffle, so I'm going to drop the link again in there. Make sure you guys fill that out if you have GTA for PC and are not already part of the beta. Oh, you guys wanted to see the C-130 and the Jayhawk crash, you said? No. Did it happen? Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, we had two chances. I've never seen it actually happen, though. I think they will somewhat avoid each other. Well, it's kind of tricky when they're both moving, though. I have seen it crash at the airport before if I'm like on the runway and then it goes to land or take off. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving and to just, engage. Like, crashes right into you. Alright, moving in for our next person here. There, this one is sitting down inside the life raft. So we could say it, dropping the life rafts definitely helped out. How many did we drop in total? On purpose at least. <laughs> I think three. Three, right? Maybe it was four. I'm I'm wondering if that fourth one happened to be next to somebody. Oh, and they or if it like drifted and eventually they swam into it. Yeah. So far, like everybody we went to have been in the life raft. All right. So when they're in the life raft, is there exact way to get them out? What I would recommend is put it into follow vehicle mode. Mm -hmm. and then get on the hoist, and then you should be able to land in there, and you should be able to just hit the grab key, shift G, and just grab them right out of the life raft without even getting off the hoist. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, Jump Street, GTA 5 Steam version counts, yes. If it's on PC, then it works. And again, guys, make sure you guys enter for your chance to win Coastal Callouts if you do have Granite Photo for PC. This is your chance to get uh, access to it. And where did that go? Oh, you took him out of the raft first, I guess. Oh, yeah. Because when I asked you, I was like, already so far. Ah. Gotcha. How, what, is really chat chat what is the chat delay at? What is What is the chat delay set to? I never tried Or not the chat the delay. Ones. I mean the, the video delay. Yeah, I always just use the standard. I should really try one of the... Like, oh, no. We have a visual. Moving in. Oh, Any available Coast Guard person, unit, target so last seen in the water person. off the western coast. Uh, Matt, I just mean what your username is in the YouTube chat. What's up, Tyler? I cannot get on this one. There we go. Alright, so they found another person, guys. Oh, this person they found was well outside of the circle, so that's why we have to update the circle. And we actually been on site for so long now that they could literally be anywhere. Do you think that when we die, I know the time and stuff speeds up, do you think that pushes them further out or anything? I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell because, like, you can't look at them. Because if you look at them, then you're close enough that it has the physics that it normally would when you're over there, so... Hmm. All right, cause this and the water physics are weird in GTA, so it's hard to know. So what I'll do, I'll update the search area over here. I'm pretty sure they found everybody in that small radius already. Hopefully. I would turn off. I would either gain altitude or turn off max speed because otherwise you might slam into the water. Uh, Grim will pull the raffle at the oh, end yeah. of the stream. Maximum is still off. But I'll gain just safe. Yeah, Chris, I see your entry. You're good.
Tyler, I don't know when I will release it. Um, I, it totally depends how much time I get, and we have a visual. with this Moving kind of in. thing, it's like you don't even know how hard it's going to be to make it until you're trying to make it. Because, like, you know, I'm doing things with GTA that it was never meant to do, so it's like it could take you a week to do something, or it could take you a month to do something, depending on how hard it ends up being. Uh, Brendan, that's fine. So I'd like to get it released this year. That probably means I'll release it at like midnight on December 31st. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. Actually, I can't. I'm going to, I, I have something going on that week. So I'll have to release it by Christmas, I guess. Merry Christmas. Or I'll just change the release date to next year and be like, sorry. <laughs> but hopefully not. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll just pick a random number. I was gonna jump, but he doesn't seem to want to get too low, so I'll hoist it. 30 is pretty high. I mean, I usually jump from 15. Yeah, I was trying to get to 15. I lowered it in a couple more seconds, but he's just chilling. Maybe he was scared of the waves. Yeah, either that or maybe we were right over this person. I don't know. I know yeah, and the Jayhawk in particular that. usually is more picky. About like where like, it'll he is so land high right now. It says we're at 30, but we are way higher than that. What does it say on the hoist display panel? I'm at 120, and I still didn't reach it. Huh? But on the altitude thing, it's, I have it set to 30, and I figured that too. Cause I was like, this is way too high to be even 30. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why it would be doing that. But earlier, it definitely did get lower. Oh my God, it's, it's Carla. Where are we at? I'll drop that raffle link again. Just to make sure everyone gets a chance. Don't want anyone to get left out. Oh, now he wants to get low. Now he wants to go up. <laughs> Yeah, it might be something weird with the waves oh, and just like the Jayhawks are. Oh, you they found two? Fit. Yeah, I just nice. found somebody. Uh, you can't you can't do two people at once though. I oh, know. I meant hopefully I didn't fill up the old. Oh, oh in the goodness. helicopter. Why? 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 You drowning why, again, why, Ace? Why? 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 Put those flippers to work. We only got one chance to get this right. Come you on. gotta stop drowning. Oh shit, was that a shark? Oh shit. Oh, did we not get on this damn thing? <laughs> oh my god. What a freak. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. god. <laughs> what is going on right now? Oh my no. god. Pull up, dang it. Why do you want to go 30 now? <laughs> you can ad crap. adjust the altitude of the options, Ace. Eh? Oh. This is all scary because I hear you freaking out over the voice chat, but then like 20 seconds later, I see what's actually happening. Oh man! All right, let me take my time. Get G, get her inside. Star, get me inside. Okay. Ooh, that was a close one. Did you get <laughs> the other person too? No, I gotta find another person. I was freaking out right there. All right, I see them on the map. Holy! AJ's losing it. <laughs> I never had sharks before, and now we got two sharks. I think they happen more when you're further offshore. Probably, because the game's trying to kill you. That was scary. I didn't want to say anything, I was just trying to focus. <laughs> <laughs> swim, swim. Then he decided to go down to 30 once we were on the line, so I'm lifting us up and he's lowering us down, so we're not really going anywhere. And then I see the shark swim right past us. I'm like, oh my god. I wonder if he could get you if you're on the hoist, because like, you're not technically swimming then. I don't know. I think, well, maybe Onyx can tell us. He probably knows. I'm really scared of 15, I just feel like he's gonna kill us. 
Two, oh, 15 on the... Yeah. Uh, on the altitude. Yeah, I was glad I was able to get into voice chat later, because um, it's just easier yeah, it is than trying to follow from the text chat. I can tell you, I can be like, Ace, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> or, yes, good job. Are you going to jump out? Except that time the boat flipped over. Nah, this is definitely more scary. I'm gonna get over here. I do not have time to lease right now. It looks so cool when they're coming in on the distance, like slowly moving. We have a visual. The helicopter. Any available Coast Guard unit, we've got a um, boat day. off the western coast. Uh, you can look inside. And yeah. Is there someone sitting on the door? Because the door is the last seat. So you could get one more, and they could sit on the door, and then you can sit in the co-pilot seat. get into the co-pilot seat while I'm on the list? You can if the other seat isn't available. It tries to get the door seat if it's available, but if it's not, then it'll put you in the co-pilot seat. Alright, so we didn't get any more hits on anything. Let's, uh... Alright, y'all, I'm gonna drop the, the raffle link one more time in there to make sure everyone gets an opportunity. Again, that's if you have GTA for PC, you can enter the raffle for coastal callouts. That marker's for the boat. Yeah, I don't know where the other person might be. I want to increase the search a little bit. Let's get another one. Any available Coast Guard unit? Uh, Onyx, we were asking if Coast. you've ever been eaten by a shark while you were attached to the hoist. And if so, what happened? I figured if anyone would know, it would be you. <laughs> hey, Jada, I really do appreciate that. Thank you for the like and the subscription, everybody. So we found six out of nine. And they could have drowned. Like, it's possible. That they're already on the ocean floor, you know. <laughs> Damn, we've been on this for a long time. Alright, I'm gonna take these people back and I'm gonna see if they just happen to find anything while we're flying back. Do you have all the search units out that you can? Yeah, yeah. We do. Onyx needs like a harpoon gun mod. Harpoon gods. Well, wow, for him to shoot the sharks. Shark, like with a knife or something. I know you, you can, can make with a knife. knife. You can't use guns in the water, but you might yeah. be able to with a knife. I don't know. I wonder if it works. I wouldn't recommend it. I, mean, I would. I would tend towards the fish. It doesn't seem like they're finding anybody else. <laughs> I 
I'm pretty sure Ace is not 20 years old. I was wondering who they were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not either. Uh, all his Cold Scar units are equipped with rifles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do have, like, machine guns on the Jayhawks. I'm not the one. Are they always armed, though? Only for certain missions? I don't know. I don't know if they want us to know. Yeah. I mean, you would think you wouldn't need to bring a gun with you for search and rescue, but like, what if you get called to something when you're out there? Like, if you look at the specs, it says that, you know, they have a machine gun as part of their standard armament, but I don't know if they always have it loaded. 26. Oh wait, do I have to say that I'm dropping them off? I forgot to drop off. No, you just drop them on the... Oh, actually, yes, because the um, yeah. the mission's not over. So yeah, you can just say drop at hospital. Yeah, I forgot to do that. I might have to say that. <laughs> Onyx wants a shark cage mod. Onyx, I found a prop, actually, that is kind of like that. I'll, I'll send you the, the model name, and then you can use menu, and you can spawn it and make yourself a little shark cage mod. <laughs> There's, like, so many spin-offs off of Coastal Ponyx. Dispatch, we have a visual. Oh, they found what do you mean? Any available Coast Guard unit, target last seen in the water what do you off mean, the Ace? western coast. Uh, no, I said there's like so many spin off ideas from Coastal Pollux. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna drop these people off. They found one for more person. Ace is not 32 years old either. I don't know where you people are getting this stuff from. Sent a unit all the way from Mount Chiliad. Must be busy in Los Santos. Alright. So, I, wait, what did I. Oh, I think I see what I did. Alright, so we got six rescue. Three are still out there. We know where one of them are. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time, but I'm gonna really try to find these people. We're like. Speeding right now. You can use the warp. Uh, oh, yeah. If you put a waypoint down, then press and hold tab or whatever the vehicle switch weapon thing is on the controller, it'll warp you closer. Perfect. <laughs> That's like, I need to figure out how to land a heli before I play Coastal College. Well, I mean, you know, or you can just crash and then learn that way. You'll figure it out, though. Don't let that be what stops you. We have a visual. Moving in. Alright, let me update this. So, search area, because I messed up on that before. Oh, we're pretty high up. I think if you're in an aircraft, it automatically puts you high up so that you won't crash. Oh, no, no, I was starting my hoist, but I didn't realize how high I was. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Crimson Crusher. <laughs> These people sound so confident, too, like with their answers, how old I am. <laughs> You just said how old you are, so I don't know yeah, why. No, like, somebody's like, yeah, Ace is 32, but like the way they say it is like they're so confident. Like, yeah, he's 32 years old. <sighs> Alright, where's this person at? Yeah, the currents, I, I don't really fully understand I'm how the currents way. work, but they definitely are a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised the waves are still so big. Yeah, that's because I make them bigger for the call out. Oh, that's, I thought it was a weather setting. Attention all Coast Guard units. Target is in the water off the west coast. Fine, everybody. They can find that third person for me. We may be able to complete this.
our altitude like so off. You drowning again? Oh no, there's a shark. I see. Oh, I think the lady. Oh my God! You actually hit the wave so hard that you ragdolled and dropped her. Why am I still in the water? Uh, Grim, you're able to do everything in coastal callouts. streaming for like two hours, so you probably did miss something, but, you know, you can always go back and watch the replay. Come on, pilot. Don't fail us now. Did you see what that lady that we just lost looked like? Uh, I could go back on the chat, or on the stream, and see. I wonder if it's the same person or not. Let me see. I'm looking. The head that I'm looking at now is like... I'm uh, going back over the uh, video from nice. the um, from the helicam footage. I'm, I'm reviewing it on the onboard computer. Let's see, where was she? Okay, she had blue shoes, she was wearing white clothes, and had blonde hair. Okay, so that's the same person. Though we lost it, let's see. That would have sucked. So there's one more lady after this, or are there two more after this? Uh, how many people do we have to save? <laughs> we got back. Two? 
Oh, here, it says right here, three victims remaining, six rescued, one rescue in progress. Wait, we just put nobody else in that one? Guess not. <laughs> now they found somebody else. Oh yeah, let me uh, drop the link in there one more time, guys. So this again is the raffle for Coastal College Beta. Uh, you need to have GTA 5 for PC, and I'll be drawing the winner in one the winner. minute. All right, guys. So last chance. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I accidentally dropped them. Oh, they're probably dead. <laughs> last chance for you guys to win free copy of Coastal Callouts Beta Access here. Let's see, I just found the vehicle again. Now we got one more person. Now we're gonna be able to find that person. <laughs> Did they find it yet? Watch somebody like way off on the other side. <laughs> uh, Grim Gaming, it will be free for personal use once it's released publicly sometime, uh, hopefully later this year. Um, but right now it's still in beta, so you need to donate or win the raffle to get it right now. Dang, just one more person left. Then you get that terrible message when you end the call that says, like, one person presumed deceased. <laughs> I feel like they're going to be, f like, further out to the ocean. Is that the max on the search radius? Does it go up to 5,000? Uh, I'm set it to 5. Yeah, get her thing. Yes. All yes. right. I am going to... Uh, close the raffle form. So we have a total of 15 we have a entries. All available Coast Guard units. We've uh, got a uh, boat right off the west coast. I got the random person picked out. Well, let me know when you want me to announce it, Ace. You can announce it. Alright, so... Drum roll, please. It is Jay Connor. 
So if Jay Connor is on the chat still, go ahead and uh, raise your hand. If not, we'll reach out to you through um, your email address here and get you hooked up with the beta access. For those of you who did not win the raffle, thank you for entering. And you can always join the Coastal College Beta by joining the Parks Benefactor Program at parksmonds.com slash donate. I just put a link in there for you guys. Um, it's $20 for one year of beta access to all of my mods, including the message boards mod and the lease tape and many others. Um, so go ahead and check that out. And uh, I look forward to hopefully seeing some of you in the beta soon. Nice job, Connor. Um, Connor, if you're on Ace's Discord, uh, shoot me a message real quick, and otherwise I'll get you hooked up over email. All right, so for okay, Ace, we... maybe we should reveal where they are. We can just use the cheat code. Uh, man. If I had the time, all right, what's, what's the cheat code? All right, I'm trying to remember what it is. I think it's uh, show all VIX, all lowercase. Uh, no, it's actually the cheat, like the cheat code box. Dang it! Is that show all? Show. Uh, let me double check. Oh, it's just show vix, all lowercase one word. Come on, guys! Somebody find this last person. Did you type it in? Nah, let's open a build. Oh, you're, you're so trying to it. How does it show me? Hi, Norton TV. Uh, show VIX. No, it's not VIX. all, it's just show VIX. There's no all in it, it's just show VIX, V I C S. Okay. Uh, I had a feeling he was. No T. I got it. No t oh, you got it, okay. Alright, let's get hey, this last what's up, person. Norton and TV get play. There. Up out of there, guys. I'm super late. I don't actually know how to pronounce his username, but uh, Norderheen TV Play has a German YouTube channel, and he has some coastal callouts on there. So check that out, if especially if you uh, speak German. I don't speak German, so when I watch his videos, I just have to kind of. Try to follow along and guess what's going on. <laughs> this person drifted pretty far out of the search radius, didn't they? Yeah. Alright, let's make the final grab here, guys. And we we're almost able to rescue all nine people. We had to get a little bit of help for the last one, but that was pretty cool, though. That was pretty cool. That was quite the, the mission. We've been on for almost three hours. <laughs> Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving I think to engage. Over, oh, not <laughs> Attention all Coast Guard units. Target last seen in the water off the west coast. I think overall we did good today. Uh, most of my mistakes oh, yeah. are just from like me rushing because I know I really have to be somewhere. So if I was like taking my time, we would have definitely did really well today. Come on, man. Let's get the heck up out of here. Alright, we got him. We got him. Alright, so that's all nine people. Uh, again, congratulations to the winner. What was his name again? Oh, it was Jay Connor. Jay Connor. Congratulations. So we're gonna go ahead and get the heck up out of here and get these last people to safety. We've got so many units out there.
Alright, so these people have been in the water for the longest amount of time, so we're gonna get them to a trauma center. Alright, so these people are gonna drop off directly at the trauma center here. They have been in the water for about three hours. <laughs> I really gotta add something that makes them, uh, like die from hypothermia. <laughs> Come on, don't be so evil. Because <laughs> otherwise, if you take so long to pick them up, or at least make them like unconscious, we'll, we'll go something like that. I don't know. All right, so these three we're gonna drop off directly at the hospital, and they're gonna take them in. Oh, they go on the stretcher. LSPD has a shootout downstairs. Another one. Good thing they're by the hospital. <laughs> But that's gonna do it for this one guys. Thank you guys again for watching. We got up to 344 likes, which is awesome. Parks, thank you again for the opportunity to live stream today. And thank you for the uh, giveaway as well. Definitely do My appreciate pleasure. it. So, Thanks for uh, setting this up. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here guys. Thank you guys again. Uh, we're running Make Visuals Great Again this copy here so yeah make visuals great again and um yeah that's gonna do it for this one i got it i rescued 82 minutes <laughs> <laughs> but that's not bad though because real life it takes a lot well in real life it would be yeah. more than that yeah <laughs> but video game that is some serious realistic <laughs> Uh, next time, I think we're gonna probably do an. I probably record another episode of Close to Call Us for you guys with the C27 since we didn't get to take that out today. But uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, notifications. Skyline GTR, definitely we'll see you later. Thank you again for all of the mods you make for Coastal and for GTA in general. Because a lot of my videos would not be possible with all of your, without all of your mods. So thank you there, Skyline. Parks, I gotta run, so I'm just gonna like go ahead and get out of here. But bye guys. All right, Peace. Don't enjoy your party. For everybody that did not get, uh, that did not win, if you still want to get access, link is down below, and that is Parks. Attention all mods. units, we have a criminal resisting Parks? arrest. There's an S on both. There's, oh, S, there's two S's. Okay. It's double so S. Parksmods.com. Link is down below. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Definitely we'll have some more Coastal for you guys soon. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.